Chetan Narula here for Cricket Country and what a day of test cricket we have had here. 15 wickets on day 3 after just the 7 on the first two days of the game. And Jaspreet Bumrah picking 6 for 33. The second best for an Indian bowler on Australian soil in test cricket. And of course, bettering Bhagwat Chandrasekhar's 6 wickets here in 1977. What a year of test cricket he's had. Remember, he only played his maiden test in South Africa in January and uh, five wickets in South Africa, a five wicket haul in England as well and half the series he didn't play because of injury but here he comes. What a pivotal bowler for India in test cricket. What, what a pivotal bowler across formats Bumrah has become for Indian cricket and of course he left his imprint here on this test match. 151 all out for Australia conceding 290 odd run lead to India and India finishing strong on day three with a 346 run overall lead. Of course, they had a mini collapse as well, 50 odd for five at the end of stumps. But that's what the pitch has done now. It's starting to do a lot more, a lot more up and down bounce, a lot more variation in bounce. And uh, Bumrah said that in fact the pace is still slow but it's keeping much lower than it's going much higher. So that has been a factor, of course, Indian pace is also getting a bit more reverse swing than the Australian paces. Again, he's referring to the, to the Ranji experience that he's had, or all of them, in fact, Mohammad Shami and uh, Ishan Sharma as well. And Ravindra Jadeja, of course, using that rough outside the left-handers off stump to trouble the batsman as well. So despite the mini collapse, India, are in the lead in this test match and they are well they're primed for a 2-1 lead there's supposed to be some rain around on saturday and sunday on days four and five but still a lot of time remaining in this test match for india to push for a result and all of this thanks to jaspreet bumrah on day three but don't forget chiteshwar pujara's hundred on the first two days